my name is Thabo Mutingwe and I stay in Midrand, but I'm from Rustenburg. Yes. What is the problem that you're facing in your life that made you to come here today? Uh, for the past about uh, three months or so, I've been having a very serious challenge uh, with my fiancé, which ended up in a very horrible way that at some point it led me to actually even try to commit suicide so yeah i was just living a lot around that issue so i came here to seek guidance from god as to what exactly i need to do and actually i'm living here with peace because i got um, a revelation as to why other aspects of my life were actually you know not progressing and uh, I'm very hip, happy, you know, for, for what I got. Like, um, <clears throat> I came here for one thing, then I also get, got to understand the other things which were actually even around the whole situation. And, yeah, I'm, I'm actually shocked. <laughs> I'm shocked. As you just spoke to us that this situation has nearly led you to want to commit suicide, I believe it has also affected you spiritually, emotionally. What is really happening to you? Um, you know, I think at some point I invested so much uh, emotionally, financially and otherwise, and I did, you know, give out my best. And at some point things never worked out and there were so many things which I just didn't understand. And for me, I at some point thought, no man, this cannot be. I, I, need, I need to understand what's, what's wrong. Like things cannot just fall like this. You know, at least if I knew that uh, there was something wrong I was doing, I would actually understand. But everything was perfect. Then one moment things just decide to go out of line and yeah i was not getting any joy and i wanted to understand but i'm happy um with the revelation that i got now before you came here did you try to go to doctors because at some point when you are facing this it may be created depression i don't know did you try to go to doctors were you taking any medication for you to sleep what is where did you go in search of help before you came here um <coughs> was actually drinking sleeping pills because I couldn't sleep. I would sleep for about uh, two hours, maybe from 10 o'clock until 12. Then from there, I'll wake up at 12 and w sleep again around 3 o'clock until 4. So I, I, I couldn't do much. I actually even lost weight, you know, because of that. I also was drinking some um, stress medication you know, also, and I was actually seeing a psychologist because I was trying to make sense of this whole situation. But, uh, yeah, by the was making sense then, yeah. By the grace of God, you were able to see the man of God. How was the experience? As you said, he has all told you everything that was happening in your life. How was it? Look, I went there, I had my own memo to say, okay, this is what I need to explain and all that. Then he just asked me one question, you know, um, where is your wife? You know, for me, when he asked me that question, it just, you know, cut deeper than just the flesh. It went deeper into the marrow of the bone. Like, I, yeah, and I asked him, you know exactly what I've been through? And he told me, yeah, I know exactly what you went through, and I know what you tried to do at some point. And he started to narrate everything for me. And I couldn't, I couldn't say much because... It's like when you go to someone and he tells you, you know, what has been haunting you all this time, you know. So I was, I was so happy. The experience was just wow. You know, it's my third time coming here and every time I come here, I'm just like, wow. Yeah. He prayed for you. When he prayed for you at that particular moment, how did you feel? Uh, for me, I actually had, uh, like the, it was like there was weight in my body. Uh, but after he prayed for me, I'm free. Like, I feel like the load is off my shoulders now. Like, I'm so happy. I'm looking forward to life, you know, after here. Because there are some things that uh, were not even working out. And he told me, you know, there's this thing that was not working out. It will actually work out from now onwards. The reason it was not working out is because of um, some of the things that were happening in your life. So from here, I'm just looking forward to just going home and working on my business as I've been doing all this time. And it was not working out. And I was wondering even to myself, like, 
why is this thing not working? And I know this person is doing it and it's working, but for me it's just not working. And he explained as to why. So, yeah, I, I'm, yo, I'm so excited. Like, I'm so excited. When you came here, you were mourning. And now you are happy, meaning you have already got the grace on this week of grace. And I believe that you're in the right position to encourage somebody out there who have lost hope, who are going through what you went through, yes. as I believe that it is over. What can you say to somebody out there? Um, I would say to the viewers at home to say that, you know what, um, there is hope. And uh, the only hope we have is in Christ. And if you get the opportunity to come and see the prophet, do so. It, it, it's worth it. It's worth it. Do your booking. Come and see him. Um, yeah. I mean, I've been here myself for the third time. And I know every time I come here for a specific, um, you know, challenge that I experience, I always live here with a testimony. I've been coming here from 2016. So I know every now and then there is something like this. And I just come here and things keep on progressing yes we give glory to jesus for life we believe that you're restored you are free you're delivered and you're coming back with the testimony yes yes no i will definitely come with a testimony because I, I i'm gonna start this um after this um interview after this one-on-one -on -one, then i'll go home and i will start working on my business and i believe that next week i should have a testimony because the commitment that i've been putting the 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 hard work that I've been putting without the results, I mean, they, from point of grace, I should get the results now. That's it. Thank you. Thank you very much.